بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أسألك الكريم رب العرش العظيم أن يت يل أن يتولاك في الدنيا والآخرة We ask Allah the Almighty the Lord of the mighty throne to love you in this life as well as the hereafter and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be of those who if they are given they're thankful and if they sin they seek forgiveness and may Allah wa ta'ala Bless us with ikhlas with the bad ala sunnah and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is the sunnah in Sabil and Najat. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about the various paths, various ways, alayhi salatu wa salam. When he said, If Tarakatil Yahuda Leh there was Sabain Firka, if Tarakatan Nasara let an attain was Sabain Firka. Was at of Tariku Hadihi Umma Alla Thalatha was Sabain Firka Kulaha Fen Nar Ilawahida Kuna men here Yarasulullah Kalamen Kana Alla Mithli Makana Alehi was Habihi was Habi Alion. The Prophet ﷺ said the Jews would break into 71 sects, the Christians into 72 sects, and my ummah into 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And they said, who are they, Ya Messenger of Allah Wasallam?" He said, those who are upon my sunnah and the sunnah of my companions, radiyallahu ta'ala anam ajma'een, showing us the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah is the sabil and najat, it's the sabil of success. And that the way of the companions, radiyallahu ta'ala anam ajma'een, as well, is the way of success and that you cannot have or you cannot separate Islam from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, it's based upon Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul if that's the Sabil if that's the way to Jannah the Surat al-Mustaqim then there's no way to separate ourselves to separate the Quran from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah وسلم, as the Sunnah Yufasr al-Quran a sunnah to fasr al-Qur'an. The sunnah explains the Qur'an. And as Imam Babahari rahimahullah ta'ala said, Al-Islam huwa sunnah wa sunnah to heal Islam. That Islam is a sunnah and the sunnah is Islam. And that you cannot separate them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to be one hand, one body. One believing body. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitab al-kareem wa'tasimu bi hablillahi jami'an Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. So the believer is ordered to follow the rope of Allah, which is Kitabilah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as bad as some of the Mufassirin explain. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those, to be Ahl Sunnah, and, to, and for the Muslims to be one hand, worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and striving to follow the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam